remembers what their first reason was for visiting Toastmasters? Did anyone join to get the uh, Competent Communicator Award? Advanced <laughs> <laughs> Communicator Gold? DTF? Yeah. Toastmasters is working on a revitalised education program and today our presenter will be Colleen. So Colleen has been a member of Toastmasters and Toastmasters 75 since uh, March of 2010. She started as a member, giving a speech once in a while, and uh, pretty soon, after two years I believe, became president and remained as president for two years within Toastmasters 75. After that, she took over as area governor of A4 and continued for this year up until now as the, the governor of it. Sorry, area A5. Uh, she's especially proud of the achievements that she's had and has recently just achieved the Advanced Communicator Gold Award. Mm -hmm. she's, very, she's very, very close on the Advanced Leadership Silver as well. One little step away and that means the big award for Distinguished Toastmaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's an ambassador for the Revitalised Education Program and having now experienced all of the stages of the, of the Distinguished Toastmaster, Colleen has seen how the education program works and has a working knowledge of it. But she's excited and ex enthused about what's to come. Would you like to know why? Yes. 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 Please welcome Colleen <laughs> Education. What I want to know is, has anybody heard about the Revitalized Education Program? If you've heard this term before, please raise your hand. Ah, good. For those that haven't, this presentation, and for those that have, is going to give you a little bit more information of what's to come in the future. Because, as we know, Toastmasters is here for us and we're, it's here for you. So I'm going to go through several points today. I'm going to talk about why Toastmasters is for you, remind you of that, why the program is evolving, because I've entitled this an educational evolution. I'm going to talk about what we have now and what's coming up for new, just some general ideas. And look at an example of a project, walk you through a couple of the slides quickly. Wrap it all up, make sure I told you everything I was supposed to tell you in 15 minutes. And when we end with that, then we'll take 10 minutes for questions and answers. This is one of the sources of information. It's available online, on your tablets, on your phone. They started talking about it in 2013. The strategic plan for this is older than that. You can find out about ambassadors. In the March issue this year, October 2014 had a story. May this year talks about the Toastmasters, a couple that are making videos that are going to be included in this program. And of course I'm an ambassador. Emmanuel Lavartowski is an ambassador for the French clubs and we're both looking for anybody else interested in following this program to contact us to visit clubs. Now we're going to talk about how smart the goals are for this new program. It's going to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. And at the same time, I decided to give another acronym to the PAL, a PAL you could take with you everywhere you went, <laughs> to remind you of what the program will do for you. You'll be on a path. You'll have path choices and have directions on that path. Access to educational material online. 
interactive, and will continue with the Toastmasters method of learn by doing, self-paced. <laughs> Toastmasters is going through an evolution. What is Toastmasters? It's an education program. And this is how it began in 1924. Once upon a time in California, in a basement at the YMCA, and they had a, mo a meeting and started giving speeches. They passed knowledge on, tribal knowledge, from an ancient member to a new member. And that's how it proceeded until finally in 1942, they came up with a training manual, basic training manual. It sounded very warlike. They continued with that. And in the 80s, they started the advanced awards, advanced communicator, advanced leadership. And then in 2006, they put the uh, competent leadership track on a separate track from communication. 2010, they started thinking, hmm, we better put those two back together. And that's what's taking us into the future now. Technology, interactivity, Think about your devices. How are people going to learn how to do things? Let's give them a master plan in education. No more patchwork. For example, this is how long it took to develop just the brand, the logo. 70 years, 2011, they came up with the new. So they're thinking. 2010, the board of directors get together, say, let's do a strategic plan. And this plan is going on a timeline, and you'll see it probably around 2017. But the important thing is to know, keep working on your current program. Keep working on the paths you are right now, because something better is coming along for the new members, for members that are midway, not as advanced. How many people are here are working on their DTM? Mm. How many people have their um, advanced communicator silver? Okay, see, there's possibilities. You might want to change into the new program. Let's look at what we have now. Right now, when you walk into a club and you are going to... How many clocks do we have going on here? <laughs> I don't know where I am on timing. Um, you go into a club and you set a goal, right? Everybody sets a goal. Who follows you along that path to say, yes, how are you doing on that goal? I don't even want to know if it happens or not. It... Then you're told, make an icebreaker speech. Okay, speak about yourself. Boom, there you are. Maybe you have someone that comes along and helps you write that speech, and maybe not. CC manual. How many in here have their CC, their competent communicator? Okay, so that means you have made a choice for your advanced, two advanced manuals after that. How did you make your choice? I'll tell you how I made mine. I went to my VP ed. I'm in Toastmasters one year. And um, I, well, how do I choose these advanced manuals? And she goes, um, why don't you ask Sean Murphy? I went, okay, Sean, how did you choose your advanced manuals? And he said, Five to seven minutes. I went, oh, okay, that sounds good. So I went through the list, found all the speeches that were five to seven minutes, went, hmm, I like that one, and I like that one. And anyone that was 10 to 15, I went, oh, no, not me, that's too long. And what am I giving now? All 10 to 15 minute presentations. <laughs> <laughs> it was my destiny. So then I have reached, as you found out, my ACG. It turns out that the last two manuals I did, my uh, entertaining speaker and interpersonal communication, right? Last two manuals. Those should have been my first two advanced manuals, but I found it out too late. How do you track your members in your club? Do you use a hard copy Excel sheet? Do you use the Toastmasters website? The TM Club EU Easy Speak? Or nothing. This is what's coming up. In the new program, you walk in the door, you join a club, you're going to assess your skills. You're going to, on the computer, say, this is, this is what I think I am, this is what I would like to do, blah, blah, blah. It's 
going to put out paths suggesting, why don't you follow this? You can change those paths. So you'll get a path with some direction. Then, when it's come time to do your icebreaker in level one, you're going to learn, before your icebreaker, how to research and present a speech, how to evaluate and give feedback. Then you'll get your icebreaker. That's level one in each of the paths. There's five levels. By the time, first, second, you can change your path. By the time you get to the third and fourth and fifth, you're in electives. This is where you're getting all of the fun stuff and the more technical stuff. Interesting. This is combining communication and leadership. Then Toastmasters can track your progress, your achievement. And this is the beauty about interactivity and doing things online. They can say, hmm, this is working. Hmm, that's not working. We're changing that. It's like your computer. How often do you do um, upgrades or change your operating system or something? Same idea. Can everybody see this? chart in the back. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not talking about the small print. I'm talking about here, the big print. These are some of the paths, okay? I'm going to go through three slides to show you some of the paths. Public speaking, interpersonal communication is a choice. Public speaking and management. Public speaking is strategic leadership. Interpersonal communication and strategic leadership. Interpersonal communication and management. So this is an example of how you're going to start to have some direction. And each one has five levels. And like I said, it's the same in each of the first levels. The second, you start to run into a few new things. And third, fourth, and fifth, you get into electives. This is a small list of electives. And one of the, three of the things I'll take for an example of an elective at level four. four how to write a compelling blog, how to do a podcast, dealing with social media. But maybe you want to make social speeches. Maybe you want to deal with a difficult audience. That's the examples you'll take in the electives. It's self-paced. It's interactive. You can take it with you anywhere. On your phone, on your tablet, on your computer. How often are you sitting and surfing with your, your phone? Checking emails, playing, what's that, gumdrops or something everybody's playing? Candy Crush. Candy, cr candy Crush. Candy Crush? You could be doing, working on your next project. Who knows? <laughs> this is an example of the interactive uh, pages. So here, for example, you assess your skills. This is the icebreaker project, as an example. It works with you, walks you through your assignment. You're going to have competencies in each of these paths. You'll be right now. There's a a list this big of, comp, of things you're becoming competent in. As Sean has found out with his awards this year, anybody who's um, gone to ACS, ACG, you're competent in certain things. You've learned certain things, and this will keep you in check with those videos to help you learn. Online educational resources and other ways to find out information, research your topic. Interactivity, answer questions. Well, that wasn't the best. Why don't you try again? You give yourself feedback. How are you doing? How's your progress so far? Do you like where you're going? The meetings will stay the same. The meeting roles will stay the same. You'll still get written evaluations and, and uh, spoken evaluations. So that's not going to change. <laughs> So let's look and see if we've covered everything I said we would in the 15 minutes. Questions later. Talked about the SMART goals, this new program. It's going to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. The little pail you can take with you anywhere. You're on paths, with direction, access to educational materials online, interactive, and learn by doing. You can see how it's necessary to keep up with the times that the program, the education program of Toastmasters, has to evolve. We look at what we have now and what's coming in the future. The paths you can change and have direction. And an example of a project where it's interactive. 
Does this seem interesting to you? Is there anybody who might not be interested? If you're not interested, raise your hand. <laughs> this is the future. I'm an ambassador. Emmanuel's an ambassador. And if, I swear, if you really want to follow the program and be involved, please let me know. Because this is a fascinating thing that they're working on and will be our future. Questions about the program? Go to the ambassador. Come to me. <coughs> go to Emmanuel. For the current program, go to your vice president of education because we will be working with them to help you coordinate your future. Toastmasters magazines. Don't just leave them for the guests to come to your club. Don't just say, oh, I'll open it. Well, I'll read it later. <laughs> you might find some valuable information in there. And I'll be, I'm making uh, three club visits in July to A5 clubs to pre present this to their members and try and get it down to 10 minutes instead of 15. And if there's any clubs in A4 that are interested uh, in having a visit to your membership, contact me and we'll work it out for August or September. With that, I'd like to thank you for participating, for listening, for giving me your full attention with your eyes and silent feedback. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Now, uh, if you could start the timing again, so Hal, as soon as I get my first question. <laughs> and not before. Um, is there anybody who has... Ah, Rose. Well, I'm um, a little bit concerned about how, tra how to transition from, mm -hmm. you know, I'm in the middle or just started the current program. I have my CC. Okay. And nearly, maybe nearly have my CL. So when is this all going to start? Am I going to have to transition like in December or when will that happen? Okay. When you go to assess your skills, when the program becomes, rolls out, that all will be taken into consideration. But I wouldn't worry about it right now because it probably wouldn't come out until 2017. The important thing is you need to know about this now so you can start to plan. So your question is excellent. Because once the program starts, you will have two years to finish or start again or just pick up where we mold the two together. <coughs> so if you know that you want to have a DTM by 2019, you stay on the current program. If you're at a CCCL in 2016, assess your skills and move over to the new one probably. Is that good? Scott. Is the CC and the CL and all the, the achievements going to be in the same form in the new program? Are they going to exist as the same awards no, in the new program? In fact, good question because in, in your handouts there is something in there about mentoring, evaluating, and the education awards. Because the awards will, the way you achieve them will be different. The titles will change. The CC and CL, if you remember correctly, some of these were speaking and management, speaking and leadership, interpersonal communication and management. So you're going to have a blend. Somewhere in there, the officer roles are going to be included, um, you, you know, the you know, district roles, leaders and stuff to count toward your um, advanced your DTM. The same with the HPL, the High Performance Leadership Program. So all of that will be still used with different names. So just to follow up, what would they be? I mean, what would an award be called if you arrive at the end of one of these, uh, one of these modules, where it's like, you know, what, what, what is what's going to be written on the, the certificate that they send you from TMI that How you can kind of say? It? Which is more important, knowing what the title of your award is going to be or what you've achieved? <laughs> Both. <laughs> 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 I want that DTM, and I want it by a certain date. I just wanted to know if it was gonna, if the CC and the CL and all that we've achieved is gonna disappear into the ether well, once once it goes into the new program. You no, know, we have a, a 
a person in our club who's been a member of Toastmasters since 1997, Toastmasters 75. And he has an award that's called an ATMB, I think it's yeah, called, yeah. Advanced Toastmaster Bronze. He still has that. His, his badge can still say ATMB. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, if you want to hold on to those titles, they still hold weight. And uh, not water like the pail, but <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they still are yours. They still are yours. And uh, so the new ones will have different titles, but they haven't come to those yet. Okay. okay. Bob? Um, traditionally, people join more to improve public speaking and less for leadership. It is, is kind of the image. Once these things are integrated, what happens for a member who is not interested in developing leadership skills but only wants to develop public speaking? Right. You're going to have five core competencies, okay? And there's going to be a blend of those. They, I just read something in a guide um, yesterday that said there will be ten paths. So it's possible they're still going to come out with additional combinations, paths. And when the new member assesses their skills, what do you want to do with your life when you grow up? What do you want out of Toastmasters? That's when, if they're not interested in leadership, okay, no problem. This is the basics. They're in level two, there will be certain things just for speaking and certain ones that combine the two. Okay? Yes. It seems that the scope of those Alain, trends, right? yes, sorry. <laughs> the scope of those trends are not yet uh, fixed. It's still evolving. So when is it going to be fixed with the perimeter names, uh, right. calendar, and all of that? This is this is a path. This has been pushed another six months. Okay. Um, so this is what they're planning on doing. They've been doing content, content support. DLE is um, virtual learning environment, that's the interactive. Alpha testing, beta testing, the program pilot, phase rollout. There's so many things yet, they had to keep pushing because the more they started looking at this, they don't want to bring it out until it's ready. Mm -hmm. So here's still some things they're still working on. Can you, everybody see this list? Mm -hmm. So they still have to do alpha testing and beta testing. There's a, it's, it's complex. Okay. And your question, initial question, was the answer in there somewhere? Yes, well, I'm in project management, so I was asking uh, what's the scope, what's the and so on. Yeah, so from, from this you can see there's a plan. Okay. They've had to push the date. I can recognize that plans get delayed. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, and, and in fact, they, they said, D give this presentation at training, but don't visit the clubs. And I said to myself, I'm giving this at training, but don't visit the clubs. Hmm. I don't think I, I agree with that, because I think it's important at least to give people the information so they can make defined and important decisions. Do I keep going? How fast am I going to go? Talk to my VP Ed because I want to take all those TME roles. I want to be an area director next year to replace Elizabeth or Hamont. Division director, think ahead, plan ahead. Start to look at your own program. Look at your own direction. Where are you going? Where do you want to go? Um, you said that we can contact the ambassadors for the, I mean, like try this. Yes. Because I'm pretty new. I'm just I'm, I'm going to make my second speech. So my question is, I mean, I mean, what is about like if I contact you and, and I start like that will count in the future or is it just to start testing or? You're on your second speech. I mean, yeah. I mean, if if, if I can start this new program no. since I'm really new. No. Okay. Nothing's going to start until they say we're starting this, and as soon as they say we're starting this then everybody has two years to finish up whatever award program their level they're working on or make a decision, I think I'll move over to the new program. So for you, I would say, let's see, we have half of 2015, 16, and possible 17. I expect you to be on your advanced communicator uh, silver and working toward being an area director. <laughs> so you may, you, oh no, you may have your, it took me, um, my first year I was 
<laughs> oh, six, one year I got six speeches done. And then I went, well, I guess maybe I'll be in that speech contest. I gotta get that, get, make sure I get those six speeches done. So between March going into a contest and June, I got the rest of my speeches done. Then I was elected president. I held president for two years. And then I, I went, whoa, what happened? <laughs> and then I was a division, division assistant. So you, all of a sudden you start seeing things happen rapidly. You never know. It could happen to you. So I would say I've been in Toastmasters since March 2010. Five years. Okay? And now I'm a notch, one notch, one hair breadth away from ALS DTM. It depends on what your focus is. I decided, this is what I'm going to do. I quit my job after 20 years and said, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I took a year off and then said, this is what I'm going to do. So four years, I really went, bam, 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 bam. So it's up to you. What do you want to get out of the program? I'm milking it for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how and if the relationship between uh, the mentor, the mentor, would change and if this could be a tool for the mentors and for the VPA tracking goals and dates and pushing their mentees for progress. One thing that you cannot, it's barely visible. <laughs> 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 it's probably like mentors in many clubs, but you have a mentoring program. They are going to teach you to be practically a professional mentor. They're going to tell you how to do this properly. Mm -hmm. It will not disappear. Evaluation is going to be more formally structured. In that handout I gave you, it will explain a little more. But even the, the awards program is in there. They've realized these are two areas that really, really need some work besides putting together the education, working on mentoring, and evaluations. And I hope that answers a little bit of your question. Any other questions, ask me later because I don't want to hold this up. I'm part of the team. Go team! <laughs> Rob!